Hello everyone, this is Whitehawk, and welcome to my next big playthrough. War of Harmony 4! Complete with tutorials for a game engine that's really, really simple. I mean, really. This is the RPG Maker VX engine. It's basically two buttons and, well, three buttons and a control pad. Nothing complicated. And it has full controller support, but really, as, as I said, three buttons and one control... Four directions. Nothing complicated. Anyway, War of Harmony 4. The reason I'm playing this game is because a while ago I was I went into Equestria Gaming, the website, and I took a whole bunch of games from that place. And War of Harmony 4 was one of the games that, like, caught my eye based on like, it was not a, it was it wasn't a game that could be in one video, but it didn't seem as long as uh, Pony Fantasy 6 or Equestria Bound. So I decided to uh, put it in the Let's Play list and see how it is. It's version 1.024. So it should be complete, but there are some unfinished assets inside the game. We'll, we'll see. Let's, let's just play a new game. Very first sentence states who the creator is. Cute. Uh, I thought about voicing the characters, but I'm not going to do it. More on that later. So story-wise, we're just thrown into this forest and something is happening and because of that we're gonna have to like find out about it uh, over well as the story goes on that being said there's also something else this game is called war of harmony 4 what happened to war of harmony 1 2 and 3 well what about those well if will we have to like wait until the creator makes those to explain more of the story that will unfold before us because i hope not I really hope not. Anyway, Timberwolves, uh, you guys probably saw one a while ago. And now we're gonna have to fight one. Or two, rather. Right here. So basically, a tutorial battle right here. But honestly, if you see, an, if you play an RPG Maker VX game and you go into a battle and it's uh, attack, magic, guard, and items, you're playing the generic engine. Nothing special at all. It's nifty that there's uh, custom animations as uh, shown here, but honestly, just looking at it, it's just not a very complex uh, engine playing right here. It's basically as standard as it gets. And it's also very easy in the beginning because we have auto region and something else because of the auras or whatnot. Even so, even so, it's even though it's generic, it's not bad though. And again, custom animations. I'll, I'll, even though I'm not reading the text, I'll try to make it. I'll try to make them not go so fast. But uh, yeah, whatever. I'll make them not go as fast. I might skip a few too quickly though. Anyway, what I like about the creator did here is that we have custom animations, sort of, kinda. The only problem is that they don't have any frames. They could use a bit more. Especially the run animation. Which only Rarity has, apparently. Oh, well, I didn't actually mean to fight another Timberwolf there, but uh, I accidentally did. Um, hmm. Well, let's check out this crystal here. They reveal our HP and magic points. But they have a limited amount of uses. I'll use one right now. Because Pinkie Pie is out of magic. Anyway, the Timber Walls, we can, except for the first battle, we can avoid all of them. They're not that difficult to avoid. Not at all. There's quite a few of them, too. Maybe we'll see some more later. Even though graphically this is kind of impressive, the trees are very detailed and whatnot, and the music is uh, sort of kind of nice, it's all apparently generic RPG Maker. VX template stuff. And speaking of the music, the title screen music was completely unfitting for a Mile of Pony game, if I do say so myself. Anyway, let's go right. Because going east, that's something you do very often in games. But we can't go this way yet, apparently. Because the game maker says so. Because it's arbitrary. And to be quite honest, I don't agree with this gameplay decision. Caution, dangerous ahead. That's nice uh, 
sentence structure right there. What about here? The sister's palace. We can go here. The pad of laughter. Or actually, no, we can't. Pinkie Pie won't let us go any further than this. What is the point of showing us three paths, yet only arbitrarily forcing us to go through only one? What, what is the point? Seriously, linearity already. An alter area with even more unfitting My Little Pony music. Well, it's not even My Little Pony music. It's just music used for a My Little Pony fan game. If we can call this that. We go up here and a strange growth of vines as rigid as stone. And we feel a very old and powerful magic force. Our characters don't say anything, but we can't proceed any further than here. So let's go left. A statue of Luna. And for some reason, Rarity, <laughs> she has to judge the statue. For, for some reason. Is Luna a savior or a traitor? Let's say she's a savior. Because I have no idea. I have no idea what uh, Rarity is judging Luna on right here. So yeah, this is New Lunar Republic, Luna. It's a... It's a fan thing. A very popular fan thing. For people who don't like uh, Celestia and think she's a tyrant. Speaking of Celestia, she's right over here. And Rarity has to judge this statue too. Is she a queen or a tyrant? She's neither. She's a princess. But no. This is a fan game. And Celestia... She's a queen here. Yep, Queen Celestia. Have I mentioned this is a fan game? Yet? And Trixie's here. And Rarity's angry at her. Why are you here, Trixie? Because Spike has given me instructions. The six that came looking, huh? So apparently the main six will be playable in this uh, fan game. Maybe, maybe. Uh, I don't believe Season 3 was out when the game creator started making this game, so this is probably largely based on uh, Season 1 Trixie. Or so you would think, but if you put, they paid attention to uh, Trixie's dialogue, she didn't refer to herself as the Great and Powerful a single time. So Trixie is way out of character. She, she's, the, she's the fan version of Trixie where she's great and, uh, no, 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 weak and apologetic. And th that's supposed to make her more appreciable, you know, even though... That the reason why people appreciate it in the first place is because she kept referring to herself as great and powerful and whatnot. Okay, this is the reason why I decided to play this game or like uh, really stick to it is because there's a moral choice system, and that's a prime fodder for making polls at the end of the videos. And apparently, we have to keep make our choices very carefully here, because they, they'll, they'll affect a plot. Apparently, so, I don't know if it will or not, but I'm going to uh, assume it will. And you know what? For this first playthrough, we're going to do whatever we want. After I'm done playing this game, though, I'll do a pure good playthrough and then a pure bad playthrough. Something like that. And, yep, I just decided to insult uh, Trixie right here because if you read the dialogue that Rarity is saying right here, this is precisely why I'm not voicing this, uh, the, these characters. Because this is fanfic levels of dialogue. Fanfic uh, bottom tier. No, fanfic. Fick E dialogue. Well, I did that because uh, Trixie kind of made uh, Rarity's hair green at some point. And that's worth calling her uh, naughty word because of that. Uh, I, it's not that I don't want to say these words. That I mean, this is a My Little Pony fan game. Why is it so edgy? Like, it's trying to be super edgy right here. It's trying to be like super dark. Except it's completely out of place for these uh, how the characters look like but uh, what did you expect from a game called War of Harmony 4 complete with uh, Tyrant Celestia and New Lunar Republic Luna anyway now we have to go to the left I mean this area right here pretty much uh, sets the tone for what this game what this game is trying to do super dark and edgy and uh 
Yeah, a bunch of stuff here. There's a monster right there, but let's ignore it. Powerful force is blocking our path. Nope, can't go any further than this. Why? And why, why is Rarity smiling while saying, seems we can't escape? Why is there so much linearity? I don't, I don't like it. I don't like how the game shows us multiple paths but forces us into a linear one despite that. Anyway, we have to attack this thing. It's a boss. Two ghosts. Ghost A and Ghost B. They, they look like uh, rural guards, apparently. Anyway, let's just attack them. They resist physical attacks. And they hit pretty damn hard. And they keep saying dodge this every time they use their darkness attack. Yep, they, pretty, they hit really, really hard. I guess I better heal up Pinky using her heal attack. Or heal magic power. It doesn't heal very much though. In fact, the enemies deal way more damage than I can heal. So, how do I beat these guys? Well, I don't. This is a battle that I cannot win. So I should flee, right? Except no, I cannot flee. There's no option to flee. You have to take this fight like a mare and lose it. I really, really don't like the unintuitiveness of this game. To say nothing of the sprites with blood on them. I mean, look at this. Oh, now I can flee. But not inside a battle. No, that'd be too intuitive. Why is it trying to be so dark? They're, 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 multi, they're multicolored ponies, for goodness sake. I get that everyone has a right to tell the story they want, but... This is not fitting for the My Little Pony universe. Even Super Lesbian Horse RPG had a better feel for the team of the show than this. And now, <laughs> as if the game couldn't get any worse at a start, it just outright tells you that I should be grinding to make it past, off the, past these monsters. And all of a sudden, Trixie's back. Right here. And you know what? I'm going to save. And then we're going to talk to her. She's uh, got a question mark. And she's asking us if we need her help. And this is as far as I got in my uh, recording uh, training session or something like that. So it's also up to the pool of the day. I don't know if uh, we're going to we're gonna have to bring Trixie or not. But I'm going to give this game credit. Even though it's been off to a really bad start. And assume that Trixie is optional. So vote in the comments section below whether or not I should bring her. Anyway, I'll do some uh, off-screen grinding uh, until video 2, and I'll also try to make it so that all sound effects are recorded next time. I don't know why my recorder has trouble d dealing with uh, the RPG Maker VX engine, but it does. It, it was something similar in Super Lesbian Horse RPG, but it was uh, only a few select uh, places in that uh, game. But... And, uh, anyway, War of Harmony 4, I, I, I know I've judged this game quite a bit, but it's just, it's just not off to a good start. It just did a lot of poor decisions. It's not overly terrible, but so far it's only looking forward to being a very mediocre experience for me. But even so, it's, it's got uh, an easy pull uh, uh, fodder with the moral choice system, so I'm still kind of looking forward to playing it. And I think that's pretty much says all for what we're going to be doing this playthrough. So I hope you've all enjoyed this video, and I hope you all have a very nice day. Bye-bye!